Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his family are out on a camping trip. They're in the Calico Critters camper van. Right now, Daniel Tiger and his sister are playing the game Checkers. Daniel Tiger is using the red pieces. Baby Margaret is using the white pieces. Mom Tiger did a lot of packing for the camping trip so she's decided to sleep in this morning. And what a treat. Dad Tiger is cooking breakfast for her. He's making her favorite breakfast. Grilled tomatoes, grilled mushrooms, and two sunny side up eggs. There's also some freshly baked bread and her favorite flavor of mint tea. Daniel and his sister finish their game and they must put it away and set the table. No problem, Dad, they say. We're happy to help out and make Mom feel special. Baby Margaret got the salt and pepper shakers. Daniel Tiger wants to go get the plates and the cutlery. But Dad Tiger says, stop. This frying pan and the stove is very hot. If you knock it down, it can burn you. So Daniel stays behind the seat and Dad Tiger offers to hand them the cutlery and the plates. Mom Tiger's awake. She is so surprised that Dad Tiger has breakfast ready and Daniel and his sister set the table. She feels very special. Sorry, Kitty, there's no room at the table for you. Dad Tiger is very careful carrying the hot teapot. Would you like some mint tea, dear? Oh, that would be lovely, thank you. Breakfast is ready. I better go make sure that the stove is shut off. It's very unsafe if you leave the stove on. Margaret and I will do the dishes and clear the table, Mom and Dad. You just relax. Wow, thanks, Daniel. What a very special morning. After everything was cleaned up, it was family game time. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his family are at the auto garage repair shop where Dad Tiger works. A taxi cab breaks down right in front. Dad Tiger has a look. Hmm, I have a garage just over there. If you get it into the garage, I can have a look at it. The taxi driver pushes the yellow taxi inside the garage. Dad Tiger lifts the car up and has a look underneath. In the meantime, Mom Tiger asks if the taxi driver would like a free haircut. Sure, thank you very much, he says. Mom Tiger tells Daniel and baby Margaret to play upstairs where there's music and books and toys. The car is all fixed. Thank you so much. What do I owe you? Dad Tiger says, don't worry about it. It was an easy fix. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. It's springtime and we're outside with our Daniel Tiger toys, digging in the garden for worms. And Tiny Treasures Minnie is riding the green tractor. As we explore our garden, we notice that the bulbs are starting to pop up. Soon these will be beautiful flowers. And we even have our strawberry plants popping up. As you know, we love to compost. And there is someone's hair. They had a haircut. And we put the hair in the garden. Worms love to hang out underneath dead leaves. 
Let's see if we can spot any. Ah, there's one. I'm going to be super gentle so I don't squish him. And as you may have seen in our composting videos with the Teletubbies, we had a ton of worms in here, but unfortunately they didn't survive the winter. So we need to find new worms to break down our compost. Let's look under these leaves. Oh, oh, I see one. Oh my goodness! He's huge! Wow! Let's get a closer look at him. This big segment is called the clitellum. It's the part that's closest to the head. Worms have a mouth just like you and I. But they don't have eyes. They can sense light, though. And they need to stay out of the sunlight so they don't dry up. So this guy's going to dig his way under the leaves. Let's help him out a bit. As we're digging for worms, we've disturbed a little ant's nest. Oh dear. Good thing they aren't red ants, because those guys bite. And we also found, oops, a snail shell. Hello, is anyone home? He's alive and well. I was also lucky enough to dig up some carrots and a beet from last year's garden. I'm going to add it to my salad tonight. We found 20 worms. Now it's time to have some fun. Daniel Tiger toys are going for a ride on the tractor. And they're going to the creek to wash off. See you there, Daniel. They're quite dirty from digging in the garden. All of the snow is melting in the mountains. So the creek is running quite fast. And as you'll see in a second, we lose one of our toys. Almost. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and his sister are playing in their playroom. And Kitty stopped by to say hi. Daniel and baby Margaret are playing with their little Playmobil farm set today. Okay, Margaret, I'll be the little blue farmer, and you can be the little green farmer. There are cows, horses, and even a tractor in their play set. As they begin to play, Daniel notices his sister rocking back and forth. Margaret, if you have to go to the washroom, you shouldn't hold it. It's not healthy. Do you need to use the washroom? Yes. Baby Margaret goes to the washroom right away. Then she washes her hands thoroughly with soap and water afterwards. All done. Now we can play. After they play for a while, Mum Tiger comes downstairs. Okay guys, it's time to clean up all of your toys and feed the guinea pigs and then you can watch your favorite show. Okay, baby Margaret, we need to clean up all of these toys. We'll put the little pieces in a Ziploc bag. That way they won't get lost and we can keep our set all together. Daniel and Margaret put the rest of their toys in their green toy box. They know it's important to clean up their toys after they're done, so they don't get stepped on and broken. Baby Margaret even pushes her dollhouse to the side. It's so nice to have a tidy toy room so that we can play next time. Okay, now we just need to put the dog and our crafting tape away and feed our two guinea pigs. The guinea pigs love to eat a piece of green celery. Mom left some fresh green celery for us to give our guinea pigs. Their names are Salt and Pepper. There you go, Salt and Pepper. Okay, Margaret, we're all finished. Let's go upstairs and sit on the couch so that Mom can put on our favorite show.
Okay, Mom, we're all done cleaning up. Well, thank you very much. Let me go have a look. Wow, it's spotless. Okay, now you guys can watch a show. What would you like to watch? Can we watch Tiny Treasures and Toys, please? All right, sounds good. That's one of my favorite shows, too. It's great for kids. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're in the kitchen with Daniel Tiger, his sister baby Margaret, who has been missing. And we finally found her hidden under a cabinet. And Mum Tiger. As you can see, they're all standing on chairs. They are toys. But in real life, it isn't safe to stand on a stool like this. Daniel Tiger could fall back and hit his head on the floor or something behind him. So please, Tiny fans, if you're baking with your parents, make sure that you have a stool that's safe enough to stand on. Wonder what they're baking today. They have a whisk and a blue bowl. And then to the side, there are measuring spoons. Whenever we bake, we always use our measuring tools. The biggest one is red. And this spoon is probably the tablespoon. And the second biggest would be this blue one. And I would guess that would be half a tablespoon. And then the two smaller ones would be probably a teaspoon. And the red one is half a teaspoon. And we always use measuring spoons when we are following a recipe. And speaking of recipes, Daniel Tiger has his own Cupcakes 100 Yummy Recipes book. Now it's important, before we start baking or cooking or eating, we always wash our hands with warm soapy water for 30 seconds. Another tool we'll need for baking is a measuring cup. You may have seen it in other baking videos of ours. We have one very similar to this, and you can see it's marked one cup, two cups, three cups, and four cups. As you know, our family loves to be in the kitchen baking and cooking, especially on rainy days when we're stuck inside, and the kids love to help out and get involved. Let's put Daniel Tiger's cupcakes in the oven, and as they're baking, we're going to show you what we've baked as a family in the last year. Every week we bake a loaf of organic bread. And I usually will add flaxseed and nutritional yeast to give it a little bit of a cheesy taste. Mmm. On the weekends, the kids will make the entire family spelt organic pancakes. Mmm, I love mine with syrup and blueberries. Thanks, kids. Once a week, we also make homemade pizza for dinner time. The kids love cheese pizza. I like pineapple and mushrooms on mine. Mmm, so tasty. At Christmas time, we decorate sugar cookies or shortbread. Tiny Treasures and I decided to try a new recipe this year. Homemade pierogies. They were a lot more simple than we expected. They were so tasty. You cut out dough into a circle shape. And then you put a potato mixture in the middle. The potato mixture is basically mashed potatoes with cheese and garlic. Take a spoonful, put it on the dough, and then you fold the circle over top of the potato. Sometimes it needs to be stretched out. And then you seal the edge with your fingers. And that is what a pierogi looks like. After we're done building the pierogi, 
we put them under a towel so that the dough doesn't dry out. Our home works really hard to send the kids to school with yummy, healthy, and plastic trash free snacks. Every week, we make chocolate chip oatmeal, hemp seed flax seed cookies. We always double the batch so that we end up with 50 cookies in the end. After they come out of the oven, they are warm and gooey. We need to let them cool before we can put them in our cookie jar. The kids always help with cleanup after. Tiny Treasures is cleaning our silver measuring spoons. And Daniel Tiger is putting the finishing touches on his cupcake decorations. He made two red cupcakes and two blue cupcakes, which is four cupcakes altogether, one for each family member. What are you going to bake with your family? Okay, tiny fans, there was an object sitting on the counter at the beginning of the video. Do you know what it was? It's not there anymore. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our channel or as we say, our videos. Goodbye. Tiny treasures and toys. Please subscribe. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. We're at the Leapfrog Learning Friends School with Peppa Pig, Bluey, Daniel Tiger, Elmo and Dora. They're gonna have fun learning today with Mrs. Giraffe, their teacher. Everyone arrives on time. The bell rings and the teacher greets her students. Good morning, class. Good morning, Mrs. Giraffe. Let's hear a story or a fun rhyme. Come to the circle, it's story time. Today we are going to read a book about a little Dalmatian dog named Sparky. The story of Sparky the fire dog. A long time ago, a little Dalmatian puppy sat outside the fence at the school. The puppy loved watching the children. He wanted to play with the children, but he was very shy. One day, the puppy followed the children home from school. He curled up under a tree in the front yard to take a nap. Suddenly, he woke up. He could smell smoke. When he looked up, he saw that the children's house was on fire. The puppy knew he needed to get help. He ran down the street to the fire station, barking all the way. The puppy saw the firefighters jump into their truck and leave. He tried to run behind them, but his little legs could not keep up. When he got back to the house, he looked all around for the children. He was very worried. After the fire was out, the firefighters noticed the puppy under a tree. Look, it's the puppy we saw at the station. Firefighter Janet scooped up the puppy in her arms. Hey, little guy, where do you live? I know, said the firefighter. Let's take him to see the family. I'll bet he could cheer up the kids. She knocked on the door. The puppy could not believe his eyes. 
The children were safe. They hugged the puppy, and he wagged his tail. Do you know who this puppy belongs to? asked the firefighter. He's a real hero. He ran all the way to the fire station to let us know there was a fire. I guess that makes him a fire dog. Maybe we should call him Sparky. Sparky the fire dog, said the firefighter. Sparky found a new home at the fire station. Sparky was very proud of his new name and loved the fire station. He worked hard to teach children and their families everywhere how to stop fires from happening. The end. Make sure you have a fire exit plan in your family and ask a parent to test the smoke alarms once a month to make sure they're working. Time to be quiet and settle down. Time to wake up. Everyone had a nice little nap. Sharing time. Come to the circle and share something about you. It's Peppa Pig's sharing day and she wanted to show her friends the Rubik's Cube she bought with her own money. She earned it by doing chores around the house. It's the end of the school day, and the parents are coming to pick up the kids. Everyone say thank you and goodbye to their teacher, Mrs. Giraffe. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye.